Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Gregory. And uh, how are you, sir? Uh, not bad, but uh, my memory is not what it used to be. I find I can't remember things as well as I used to. It's funny though, you know? I can remember doing things when I was very young, but I can't seem to remember to do the things that I need to do. Ah, that's the reality of aging, I guess. Well, it's been nice meeting you, Gregory. That old geezer said some very interesting things. He said, I remember being a child, but I can't remember to do what I need to do each day. In the first sentence, the first verb, remember, is followed by a second verb, being. This second verb is in the gerund form. In the second sentence, the verb remember, or verb number one, was followed by the infinitive, to do. Remember can be followed by both a gerund and an infinitive, but uh, in each sentence, it has a very different meaning. First, Let's look at remember doing. When remember is followed by a gerund, the action of doing happens first, and then you remember it. So you are experiencing a memory. Well, oh, here's Gregory now. Gregory, would you be so kind as to tell us a few things you remember doing? Let's see here. When I was a young lad, I went to school. I remember playing stickball with my friends. By golly, we had a great time. Also, I, uh, I lived through the Great Depression. During that time, I didn't have two pennies to rub together. I fought in the Second World War. Okay, now let's take a look at these memories and uh, talk about them using remember plus a gerund. I remember going to school. I remember playing stickball. I remember living through the Great Depression. I remember fighting in the Second World War. Now let's talk about the meaning of remember to do. When remember is followed by the infinitive, the order of events is different. It means first you remember, then you do something. First you remember that something must or had to be done, then you do it or did it. Basically, you remember the task that must be done, then you do it. Oh, hello Gregory. Could you please tell us some things that you must do in the next week? Let's see here, um, ah, I've got it, I, uh, I need to take my, I need to take my medicine, I need to call my friends and family, and, oh yeah, I need to pay my bills, and, uh, oh, it's my wife's, uh, 93rd birthday next week, so I need to remember to buy her a present. All right. Now, Gregory, could you please give us an example sentence using the infinitive? Uh, sure thing there, sonny boy. Let's see. Uh, I must remember to take my medicine. I must remember to call my friends and family. I must remember to pay my bills. And I must remember to uh, buy my wife a gift. Before we go, I'd like to show you two more patterns that can be used with remember. First, we'll look at remember followed by a noun. The sentence pattern is as follows. Subject, remember or remembers, then noun or pronoun. I remember that day. She remembers them. We remember your name. Remember can also be followed by a noun clause or a WH clause. I'll show you an example with a WH clause. The pattern is as follows. Subject, remember or remembers, that WH word, and a clause. 
For example, I remember who I wanted to see. She remembers what they said. We remember where we went last night. Or maybe if you're drinking a little bit, and <laughs> you don't remember where you went last night. She remembers when she was a child. They remember why he told us to do that. I remember how they did that so fast. Well, that's it for this lesson. Have a great day. <laughs>